100% Chelsea. Chelsea 2, West Ham 0. Welcome to your match review of tonight's game. An 8 o'clock kickoff, which, let's be honest, it has been a very, very, very good performance from Chelsea. I was slightly worried going into this game that I didn't think we'd be able to continue this momentum we had from the Brighton game. People saying it's just Brighton. We were coming up against what was going to be a test for Chelsea. Uh, let's be honest, it's a very good West Ham side and they are definitely starting to, well, starting to go for European spots against Wolves and against Leicester. And they could have given us a proper hard time today. But the first elements which I feel sorry have been brought in to implement at Chelsea in terms of the style of football, you could finally start seeing the fruits of labour tonight. Um, and I'm saying that because you could see it on a, as a development from the game in midweek against Brighton. And to be honest, no player put a foot wrong today, in my opinion. I thought that everyone really, really gave their best. I think the, the one downside today was Aspilicueta. And to be honest, that's more just heartbreaking to see than, than anything else. You know, probably one of the best defenders we've seen at Chelsea. Um, one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders on the world last year and the year before consistent for our club and it feels like age is finally starting to catch up on him Philip Anderson was beating him for headers he was beating him in one-on-ones Aspie got nutmegged a couple of times look he wasn't as safe as a safe pair of hands as he, as he has been over the previous few years and that, that's upsetting, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, other than that, I thought, you know, our, our, our movement of the ball was excellent. I thought the way that we were that we were going forward a lot of the time, rather than passing sideways and backwards, was definitely something for us to develop. I think that he has been an absolute, it has, it's been an absolutely amazing game today. Jorginho, I look, I interviewed a guy earlier who was saying Cane should be playing deeper, Jorginho shouldn't be in that role. And to be honest, you get why some people say that have a touch on both of those players look Jorginho today started many attacks got them ball moving Astro attributed the players and started moving them into the correct position Kante moved the ball forward drove into spaces passed the ball distributed made tackles further up the field meaning that the likes of Higuain even though he didn't have a great game or Giroud or Hazard who we'll get onto in a minute and Hudson-Odoi could really you know do what they needed to do and as well as that you had the likes of Loftus Cheek pushing forward up the pitch as well and there was uh, a statistic that Squawker Football released uh, earlier post game which is that uh, for the first time in the Premier League this season the team has had three players complete five or more take-ons all of those being Eden Hazard, Ruben Loftus Cheek and uh, Callum Hudson-Odoi and for me I thought it was a Scots laugh and I don't know why uh, but I thought it was a decent performance he did yeah he did he did basically take did five take-ons in one move and that is the move we're going to talk about listen an absolutely amazing goal from Eden Hazard in the first the first finish look it's, it's amazing I, I know I keep saying it but it's amazing it really really is look I thought that you know the, the way he took on those players it's not something you get to see from many players and it was a very special thing to have a player like that at Chelsea and Eden Hazard's capabilities are going to be sorely missed if he if and when he does leave Chelsea Football Club look today he won that game single-handedly this was Eden Hazard FC versus West Ham United. Look, we, we missed many opportunities. Ian highlighted this point already. You know, Giroud, Ross Barkley, who, when he came on, did have play a fantastic look for second, Hazard's second goal. Look, we, we could have done so much better. But, you know, for me, at the, at the end of the day, the, the movement was there. The, the way we were playing our football was fantastic. And now we have two big challenges. Uh, Slavia Praga, no joke, they're not severe out of the Europa League. And let's be brutally honest, look, if you're in the quarterfinals, you're in it to win it. So we've got to go there this week and we have to really show what we're capable of and show some metal in the Europa League, even if it is our second team. But the real metal has to be shown at Anfield on Sunday. Chelsea facing Liverpool and could potentially be destroying their tight hopes or could be destroying our top four hopes in one fell swoop. And to be honest, for me, look, it's going to be a very, very difficult task going to Anfield. Let's be honest, they're a very good side. The way we played tonight, the pressure that wasn't there from West Ham it, it, on some occasions could be there from Liverpool and will be there from Liverpool. Defensively, they're going to be a lot more sound. It's going to be a hell of a challenge. But if we carry on the way we're playing and we can really put our, our minds to it, there's nothing for stopping us doing it, especially with the likes of players like Callum Hudson and Doyle Fire and all cylinders like he was tonight. Taking on players, putting balls into the box. You know, the same goes for Eden Hazard. If he's on form, no one knows what can happen. But to be honest, we need to see some real metal from Chelsea on Sunday and against Tel Aviv Prague on Thursday in the Europa League, which unfortunately I won't be there, but me, Scott and I will be doing a watch along of the game. Jerome will be there, Don will be there, and Lawrence will be there as well. So obviously, make sure you see from Jerome and Don, there'll be contact, and maybe Lawrence will make a special appearance. But 
Thanks guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea. All social media links are down in the description. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. Obviously make sure you follow my personal socials as well and subscribe to the channel. We've hit that magic 90k. We're 10,000 away from 100,000. I joined this channel at 900 subs. It's a hell of a journey and I really hope we can continue it and go even further. And obviously as well, guys, make sure you vote for us in the FBAs. We are in the best club content creator. And make sure you vote for Jeanne for the best women's content that she's done on 100% Chelsea. And make sure you vote for Lawrence in the best international as well as Chelsea Fancast in the best podcast and the Chelsea Echo in, which is, you know, dander stuff on there if you've been, if you've been here for long enough. So uh, if you make sure you go follow and do stuff with the Chelsea Echo and vote for them in the FBAs in the best new content as well. The link's down in the description of how to vote at the FBAs. And obviously head across to my personal Twitter as well to see what you need to do. But other than guys, thank you. Listen, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a good evening. God bless. Take care. We'll see you later.